The Forest of the Finns has uh, always been associated as a place of magic and I think this was my initial draw to the place and uh, I wanted to find out what does it mean to be a forest fin today, 400 years later after they arrived when all their what defined them is now gone. Working there was very easy. So when I got there and, and they're very proud of their heritage and when I got there they were very interested in talking to me about it and uh, telling me what uh, family line they came from, uh, the original uh, immigrants. And I basically just knocked on doors and got tips for who I should speak to next and uh, worked pretty driving around. So I wanted to, to infuse this idea of magic. The forest Finns came from the East. They were a finno ugric people and they had with them a shamanistic understanding of nature, which means that everything around you in nature has a soul and therefore be, can be communicated with. And I wanted to include this element uh, of magic into the project. So in order to achieve this, to sort of visualize the, visualize the past, I took the what defined them in the first place, slash and burn farming. So I used smoke bombs and I've used uh, fire and uh, different elements to try to bring out this feeling in, in my project. What you see in that photo is the, the border between Sweden and Norway. There's a, there's a gate, sort of a, a clear-cut uh, clearing in the forest. And I wanted to take this photograph to illustrate how did the forest fins uh, migrate. So there, since they were slash and burn farmers, it meant that uh, you cut down the trees uh, you let them dry, you, you light them on fire and you plant in the ashes, but you can only do this once. So, and then you have to move on to find new lands. And the way I did it, so I, it's a mountain top, about an hour's walk from the road. So I parked there and I, I timed it with the moon. So there was a full moon. Uh, and then I took the position of the moon so that I would, it would lit, light the landscape. And I um, had a long exposure and I put on black clothes and then I walked through the, through the image with a huge torch. The original image is from a farm near where the first forest fins uh, arrived. So the way I did it, I, I printed out the photo and I wanted to find a way and how, how can I symbolize uh, the forest fin here? How can I put it, the forest fin physically into the photograph? So then I printed it out and I burnt the actual photograph and then I scanned it afterwards. Different papers react differently to fire so I had to experiment a little bit uh, which to use and then the intensity of the fire and then in the end I, uh, I reached the ultimate uh, tool was a creme brulee burner. I did a workshop with Anders Petersen once and he said uh, you have to be uh, be a person first and then a photographer. And I think that's a good motto. I mean, if you don't get a connection with the people that you photograph, I don't think you're gonna get a good photo. Plus, I mean, I believe in good manners, so.